Greetings, YouTube. Chad, back with you on the RC Models and More channel. <clears throat> what we're going to be going over today is cinematic mode that has recently been added to the DJI Go 4 app. And also, we're going to dig into the advanced settings and the cinematic gains that you might uh, not have noticed if you don't scroll through those things. <clears throat> There's a link in the description about my Expo sensitivity and gains video, and I go over them a little bit in there. I'm also working on part two of that video. So as you can see, it's uh, the sun was out here in Ohio today. A little bit windy, so the Mavic was fighting the air. Fighting the wind, that is. But it's warmed up to about 30 degrees. Our target is right there in the middle on the island. And right now, basically, I'm just flying a path and using my gains and gimbal speed that I've became comfortable with. And I'm just trying to do a circular pattern here, kind of like a quarter orbit, and keep the island in the middle of the, of the screen to create a cinematic shot in a regular mode. So what we're going to do basically is fly back and forth a couple times and enter cinematic mode and then adjust the gains that cinematic mode has built into it to see what that does. So to get into cinematic mode, you type your little, tap your little controller, click on cinematic mode, hit go, go into the advanced settings under the aircraft symbol, scroll down and you will see two gains there, uh, cinematic gain and angular velocity. So with both of them set to zero, this is the results that I was able to get. Um, it's a pretty much uh, mm, kind of hard to control, not super bad, but in the winter time, um, it's kind of hard. Um, the way cinematic mode works basically is you basically have the control to dumb down your yaw speed and your aggressiveness and sensitivity which are separate gain settings that you can change inside the Mavic to fly that way um, all the time if you wanted to. So now I'm going to crank up the cinematic mode gain up to what I normally fly at and I'm going to crank the angular velocity all the way to the max from zero and we'll try to keep the target in the middle and as you can see it's a lot faster um, you still get a smooth stop it doesn't stop as abruptly but the same distance on the sticks basically gives you a faster movement, hence the term angular velocity. Um, I also think it kind of overrides your expo settings a little bit because uh, I found it a little bit, uh, I don't know, twitchier on the sticks whenever I increase that gain. So we're just flying back here to an appropriate position and we'll go ahead and adjust the gains again getting a lot of wind warnings as you can see uh, this time I'm gonna put uh, the velocity down to mm, about a hundred as close as I can get it and uh, leave the gain on 40 which is almost halfway and you take a look at the video just kind of tilting back and forth there just checking the speeds on everything I really didn't find much of a change in this because this is basically 
kind of how I had cinematic set up to begin with. So everything's kind of half and half, but you can still see some jerkiness in the shot, uh, controlling the, you know, having to do everything with uh, manual control. Um, so back into the gains again. And this time I'm going to crank up the everything all the way. And you'll see the result in this is uh, really slow angular speed, but crazy y'all speed. So we don't want that at all. That's not going to help with cinematic speed. So that definitely is having an effect on our y'all movement limiter, which is in one of the advanced setting gains. So as you can see, from what I'm doing as far as changing everything is the lower these levels, the slower the y'all, the slower the actual aircraft is going to react to the sticks and a little bit more control that you're going to have. So it's definitely what I like to call a style mode. So you're basically just going to have to play with it as much as you want to fit your flying style if you plan on using it at all. Um, I don't really personally find it very useful. I really don't find any of these uh, flight modes that useful. They're all really gimmicky to me. Um, I just honestly don't get it. I would like to see development go towards something else, that's for sure, instead of uh, something that's just uh, kind of useless. So anyway, let's see a show a much easier way to get this shot. Um, let's just basically boot up to Leechy and show you if you've never used Leechy before, how easy it is to create this shot. So as you can see, basically I just had the aircraft still there and I just disengaged the DJI Go4 app and engaged the Leechy app. No problem at all. It's not gonna crash your Mavic or anything like that, but uh, don't do it unless you're comfortable. Uh, so first thing I did was just click on waypoints up in the left hand corner and then I clicked on the little teardrop and the drawing pencil and just drew a nice curve. Uh, this is just a basic simple thing. So I'm just leaving all my altitudes the same. I clicked on the island uh, to create a focus point. Um, then I went into the mission settings here and set some basic stuff up. Just stop whenever you're done. Speeds are fine. Curves are fine. Um, point at, I want the gimbal to be controlled by the computer. And I want it to basically point at waypoint one, uh, or I'm sorry, focus point one there to, during the entire mission and then when, as soon as that's done uh, basically just gonna hit uh, the play button over here on the left hand bottom corner and it's gonna load the mission and start the mission now and then you'll see down here in the right hand corner you will see everything just kind of switch and I'm not going to switch this and put the, the video up. I'm just going to let it roll like this because you'll be able to... The whole point is just basically seeing how useful one is versus the other. Not really comparing video quality. But why you would not want to just use this app and do this is beyond me. Why DJI does not 
put things like this into their app is beyond me. I mean, why have waypoints if you can't automate camera controls? Um, I just do not understand it. I mean, they must be getting a kickback from the third party developers or something. But anyway, you saw how easy it was to create the mission. It took basically less time than changing those gains. And I could fly this over and over and just make altitude adjustments, fine tune the mission to get the shot that I want. And I can screen record at the same time. Imagine that. So that way I can come back and show everybody all the great stuff that the Mavic and these apps can do. Anyway, that's going to be it. Later.